Hello, I'm Chris Curtis and I'm an environmental planner with the firm of uh, Conservation Works and I'm also working with the town of Deerfield as their Municipal Vulnerability Preparedness Coordinator, which means that I work with the town on um, preparing for climate change and um, also helping to reduce the town's carbon footprint. And today I want to talk to you about climate change and specifically um, I'd like to try to answer the question, is there anything that we as individuals can do to affect or prepare for climate change. The backdrop for any discussion of climate change uh, is, as our Senator Elizabeth Warren has recently said, climate change is the existential threat of our time. You may have seen this movie. However, unlike the movie Don't Look Up, where citizens of the Earth can't muster a response to an existential threat in the form of an asteroid heading directly at the planet, in this case, um, in the case of climate change, there is actually much that we can do and it's attainable and everyone can participate. How is our climate is expected to change in western Massachusetts? Well, see a lot more rain, particularly in the winter and more extreme heat days in the summer. Projections show that the total annual precipitation is expected to increase um, by from the current 50 inches per year to as much as uh, seven more inches per year by the, by the 2050s. And the climate in Massachusetts could feel like Virginia by 2050 and like present day South Carolina by the end of the century. So Massachusetts has been working on this and has set a goal for the state of net zero carbon emissions by 2050. And the state has a detailed plan for reaching this goal which is called the Massachusetts 2050 Decarbonization Roadmap. But the state can't do it alone, and state actions will need to be complemented by actions from individuals, homeowners, cities, and towns. So 2050 is uh, only 28 years away, and there's much to be done in that time. I'm personally hoping that I'll still be hanging around the planet at that point, and um, thinking about that goal, I realize that I will need to do a number of things I'll need to replace my car with an electric vehicle. I'll need to replace my gas furnace with electric heat pumps. I'll need to replace my gas stove with an electric one, tighten up my home for energy efficiency, and add to my solar array to uh, produce the renewable electricity that's needed for all of these things. It's a lot to do, but it is doable over time as things need replacement and taking advantage of current or future um, government incentives that become available. So here are some practical things that uh, individuals, families, and homeowners can do to reduce their carbon footprints. We can weatherize our homes, insulating walls, roofs, floors, closing up drafts, and replacing older doors and windows. We can use more energy efficient appliances and light bulbs LED light bulbs use about 20% of the energy of traditional halogen bulbs and they last about 15 times as long. We can replace our oil and, and gas furnaces with heat pumps which can extract heat from the outside air even when it's cold outside. Solar panels are, are now becoming much cheaper. We can provide for all of our electrical needs including charging electric vehicles and running heat pumps using solar. We can recycle and compost our food waste to reduce the need to burn our trash. We can choose to use less red meat, which has a big carbon footprint, one of the largest impacts from, from food that we create. We can use less fossil fuels in our transportation by driving and flying less, carpooling, using transit, or buying an electric vehicle. So what can towns and cities do about climate change? There are two real aspects to addressing climate change. One is climate mitigation and the other is climate resiliency. Mitigation is actions to reduce our carbon footprint and reduce global warming. For towns, these steps look much like the steps that I just outlined for individuals, such as transitioning to electric vehicles, making public buildings more energy efficient, installing heat pumps and solar panels. Resiliency is actions that towns take to prepare for the impacts of climate change, such as extreme weather events and flooding. The town of Deerfield has been a leader in making progress on all of these fronts, effectively using grants from the state's Municipal Vulnerability Preparedness Program 
to achieve climate goals. Deerfield adopted its Municipal Vulnerability Preparedness Plan in 2017 and it became the first MVP certified community in Massachusetts, MVP standing for Municipal Vulnerability Preparedness. This plan has made the town eligible for MVP action grants and Deerfield has now received five MVP grants totaling $1.3 million for climate resiliency projects. The town has also established an MVP core group that meets monthly to coordinate this work. The biggest climate impact that uh, Deerfield faces is increased flooding. Some examples of the MVP work that Deerfield has done include replacement of two failing culverts with new culverts that are sized for the larger storms that are expected with climate change. And they're designed with an open bottom configuration that promotes better fish and wildlife passage. Deerfield has also taken other steps Deerfield has adopted a new town policy to promote the use of green infrastructure in new town and private development projects. And they've designed green parking lots for um, the town center and for the uh, Frontier Regional School that reduce the amount of flooding by recharging stormwater on site. Six tree box filters were installed in the town center designed to reduce flooding and pollution. And these photos show some of the tree box filters um, installations that are on Elm Street and Main Streets. Two rain gardens were designed and installed at Deerfield Elementary School and they also um, serve the same function of collecting ra rainwater and stormwater to reduce flooding and pollution. Deerfield has also completed some innovative zoning initiatives which connect to climate resiliency and mitigation. They've adopted green development performance standards, improved floodplain and solar zoning, and a detailed plan for land conservation in the Deerfield River floodplain has also been adopted by the town. Deerfield has created and promoted a new rave alert system for emergency notifications, and it's adopted a flood evacuation plan in the event of a catastrophic dam failure on the Deerfield River. The town has been active in climate-related um, public outreach and education. We have now sponsored two major climate forums in 2020 and 2022, and we've been working with teachers um, here at Frontier Regional School for several years to set up this new climate curriculum for the middle school and the high school science classes. So these are some of the important steps that individuals and towns can take to affect and prepare for climate change. Your generation will be vitally important in helping to determine if we reduce the impacts of climate change. So what will you do to address climate change? There are many ways to make change happen. You can be politically active. You can lobby your U.S. congressmen and senators to pass legislation to address climate change and urge them to act. You can write letters to elected officials. You can talk to friends, family, and teachers and others about climate change. You can organize events to tackle climate change together. So what will you do to address climate change? The future is truly in your hands. Thank you.